When it comes to leadership, I think you could say I had a very unconventional education. We're talking about labor. And the when I was 12 years old, my brother was 17, and the two of us set up this tiny charity. We never imagined that 20 years later, it would grow into a family of organizations, charities, social enterprises that today are working with millions of people around the world. It always seems impossible until it's done. The nice part about starting as young as we did and having a social purpose mission is some of the greatest leaders of the world were willing to be our mentors. When you've had a chance to spend time with Archbishop Desmond Tutu at his home in South Africa, Oprah Winfrey around her boardroom table, or Richard Branson as he kicks off his next entrepreneurial venture, you can't help but to be changed as a leader. It's an incredibly important and powerful thing that you're doing. Greg Kielberger. Mark Kielberger. Oh, Mark Kielberger. <laughs> We're so impassioned, both of you, and now this has become your life's work. We quickly realized the organization was growing and we needed to take our own leadership to the next level. I had the privilege of getting a scholarship to both Harvard and Oxford. Craig got his MBA from Kellogg so we could become the best leaders that we could be. We do something different than other speakers. We create audience participation experiences. It's fun and interactive. Images of leaders up on the screen and the audience themselves get to choose what stories they want to hear and what world leaders they want to learn from. This presentation is about the extraordinary leaders I've met, the lessons they've taught me, and how I was able to apply them and how anyone can to build an extraordinary organization, company, nonprofit, or frankly just to succeed in your personal life. This speech resonates whether you're building strong leaders or building your culture, driving sales or just driving change, or preparing for the workforce of the future. Together, we could all change the world. Craig Kielberg has taught me a lot about leadership, just looking at the way um, he and his brother relate to people. They're always praising people, they're always looking for the best in people, and they're, they're always um, you know, draw, drawing out the best. Well, one thing that uh, Craig does in his whole life, uh, starting from the age of 12, is show what entrepreneurship is all about. Uh, whether it's in philanthropy or in commerce, it's about meeting the needs and wants of other people. He exemplifies that. Mark and Craig have this vision that can't wait to get out of their bodies. Whatever you want others to ultimately do, you have to do it as well. That's the kind of leader you want. Someone that's not going to lead from afar, uh, that's on a pedestal, someone that's going to essentially stand right next to you and say, we're going to do this together. And that's what Mark does. They are one with their message and that frees them and uh, makes them pretty mesmerizing to listen to. Craig and uh... Mark Kilberger that have been a great inspiration to me since I started. And their story, uh, together with uh, the uh, energy and the dedication and the reality of Free the Children is one of the great inspirations in my life. So whether it's a story about President Clinton or kid presidents, Ed Bradley or Richard Branson, Magic Johnson or Muhammad Ali, Mother Teresa, of my mother. It truly is a story for everyone.